Smooth muscle tissue. This video is made for the Anatomy 10A lab at Mount San Antonio College. We have four main tissue types in the body. Epithelial tissue, connective tissues, muscle tissues, and nervous tissue. Because we're looking specifically at smooth muscle, let's talk about muscle tissues. Remember the definition of muscle tissue is that they must contract. And we have three places in the body. We have cardiac muscle in the heart. Around hollow organs, we have smooth muscles. And around skeletal, uh, bound, you know, attached to skeleton, we have skeletal muscle. Let's look at the location here in the body. Heart, cardiac, skeletal muscle are muscles that we can uh, consciously contract. And then anything that has a hollow wall, I'm sorry, anything that uh, has a hollow organ, in the walls of hollow organ, we will find smooth muscle tissue. Comparing the three, here we have skeletal muscle with very prominent striations and uh, sort of like elliptical nuclei. Here we have cardiac muscle, which remember is the intercalated disc that stands out, along with branching features and some faint striation. Smooth muscle, on the other hand, is not very descriptive. All you see is some pink for the cytoplasm and maybe the dark nuclei that looks elliptical, but uh, that's about it. You know, you don't see striations, you don't see intercalated disc, and sometimes it can be very confusing. So let's look at it further. Here's a picture uh, looking at the intestinal wall. We will have smooth muscle. And as I mentioned before, the dark structure here that looks to like uh, squished nuclei are the nuclei of smooth muscle cells. Now the pink stuff around it, all that would be cytoplasm of the smooth muscle cells. Here's a drawing. As you see, all of these smooth muscle cells tend to be oriented in the same direction, which is the up and down in this slide. And from this view, you can see the nuclei as being elongated, that it is more elliptical, more like an oval shape, uh, with tapered ends, if you will. But sometimes, you might see smooth muscle shown this way. Let's look at the drawing first. So in the last picture, the last couple of pictures we've been looking at, it shows the smooth muscle this way. That it is running kind of in the same direction and you see the long elliptical shape of the nuclei and the shape of the cell, the smooth muscle cell themselves are long like a cigar. Remember, oftentimes in the walls of hollow structures like the intestines in the digestive tract uh, specifically, we often have two layers of smooth muscle side by side. One layer of smooth muscle will be running uh, around the diameter, okay, so like the circumference of the tube would be this type of smooth muscle, and then along the length of the entire digestive tract, you would have another layer of smooth muscle that would be running parallel to the length of the smooth muscle. So these two layers of smooth muscle will be perpendicular to each other, and that's what we have here. So once again, this layer would be the cells going this way horizontally, and then the layer up above would be the cell running in and out of the screen, okay, in and out of the screen. So therefore, these nuclei look perfectly round or more rounded, whereas these nuclei are more elongated. Here's a picture in real life. Down here would be the layer where the cells are running horizontally. Here, the bulk of this, this picture, the cells are running in and out of the screen, so therefore the cells look uh, different. The nuclei are more rounded up here, whereas the nuclei are more elongated, more oval shape on the bottom. Here's another example of what I meant when I say the two layers of smooth muscle running perpendicular to each other. At the top, these cells are running horizontally so that you see the long stretched out nuclei. Here on the bottom, these cells are running in and out of the screen so that each one of this is one nucleus, another nucleus, another nucleus, okay? and they tend to be more rounded because they're running in and out of the screen. 
Here's another look at smooth muscle tissue. This part up here, of course, the cells are running this direction, okay, diagonally. Whereas this part of the screen, you see the cells running in and out of the screen. Okay, so they're running to you and away from you. That's the length of the muscle fiber, uh, the muscle cells. And thus the nuclei looks more rounded because it's coming straight at you. And this picture is smooth muscle tissue with lots of cells, okay, lots of nuclei. And the pink stuff, of course, would be the cytoplasm. Most of this are all running in the same direction, okay. A few here is coming in and out of the screen. Another look at smooth muscle cells, okay. Now please don't get this confused with dense regular connective tissue. Because remember, in dense regular connective tissue, we often saw wavy collagen fibers with fibroblasts squished in the, between the collagen fibers. So at first glance, you might think of this as wavy collagen fibers, but these are not collagen fibers. These are smooth muscle cells. And the pink stuff is the cytoplasm of smooth muscle cells. In fact, these nuclei belong to the smooth muscle cell. These are not fibroblasts. This is probably a pretty good picture of smooth muscle tissue, not to be confused with dense regular connective tissue. Here, all the cells are running up and down. Low power for smooth muscle tissue. You do see them running pretty much horizontally, and you do see the nucleus being elongated, more oval shape. Here's another look at smooth muscle tissue right here. Okay, it looks almost like fuzzy, but uh, these are nuclei, kind of stretched out nuclei, and the fibers are running up and down the screen. By the way, you look over here, this is probably some kind of vessel, and if you look, if this is a vessel, this would be epithelium. Can you guess as to what kind of epithelium is this? Yes, the answer is simple squamous epithelium. Here's another look at smooth muscle right here. Okay. These smooth muscle cells are going up and down. Here's another look at uh, another tissue that you already seen. Hopefully you identify this as epithelial tissue because there's nothing here. So this is definitely lining a surface. And because it's lining a surface, you then have to ask yourself the two questions. Number one, how many layers? And number two, the shape of the cell. Well, if you look, it's not very thick, right? Extremely thin. So chances are it's probably only one layer. And because it's only one layer, because it is extremely thin, you hardly see the nuclei. Um, it's probably best to say it's simple squamous. In fact, this is probably the wall of an artery or arteriole because I do see this look of simple squamous and very thick smooth muscle. Here's another look at smooth muscle and this is the two perpendicular layers of smooth muscle I told you before. Here the smooth muscle is going up and down the screen. Here the smooth muscle is running in and out of the screen. Another look at smooth muscle right here. Okay, going this way. By the way, I hope you recognize that this is transitional epithelium up here. If you don't, it's okay because this is very low power. So this is probably the bladder. Okay, that's it.